To find the number of atoms in CaOH2, this is calcium hydroxide, let's first write each type of atom down. So we have calcium, we have an oxygen, and then we have a hydrogen atom. So these are the atoms we're looking for. When we look at this formula here, when there's nothing written after an element like calcium, we assume that to be one. So we have one calcium atom. When we have parentheses, we have to be careful. The parentheses mean that this number, this subscript out here, it applies to everything. So we have our ones here. So we have one oxygen times two. We have two oxygen atoms. And then we have one hydrogen times two. So we have two hydrogen atoms. So there are five total atoms in this calcium hydroxide here. So if we wanted to know how many oxygen atoms were in one mole of calcium hydroxide, we take this two, multiply that by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and we'd see that for one mole of calcium hydroxide, we have 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms. You could also reduce this down to a more standard form like this. So that's the number of atoms in calcium hydroxide, each type of atom, and the number of atoms in one mole of calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.